Hello everyone, welcome back to Drive Your Logic. So today I am back with square root. So what is square root? I have shown you many video about squaring a number. Okay, you have seen like uh, squaring a number means uh, 6 square that is 36. And what is square root? Opposite of squaring. So when this 2 goes this side, it becomes in this way. Okay, it looks this way. So the square root of 36 is 6. We will do today this one, the opposite one. See, there are many shortcuts are there of doing square root, okay? But I'm going to solve today the normal prime factorization method, which you all need for your school, okay? So let's start. Number is 3, 2, 4. Now, 3, 2, 4 is the square of which number? That is called square root of 3 to 4 is, that is the answer. So we need to find the number whose double means, suppose the number is 14, 15, whatever, same numbers, multiplication will be the answer. So 3 to 4 is the square of which number? Let's find first. So what you will do first, first you write down 3 to 4 and you do the general process of what? Prime factorization. What is prime factorization? Dividing this number with prime numbers only. So 2 is a prime number, right? We will start with 2. So 2 into 162. Yes. 2 into 2 into 8. That is 81. With 2, it will not go. Another 3. 3 is a prime number. Yes. So 3 into 27. 3 into 9. 3 into 3, 3 into 1. Now, the magic, what you will do? You write down the number in this way. 3, 2, 4 equals to all the numbers you write down, all the prime numbers, okay? 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now, what you need to do you need to find pair. If it is pair, then only you will get the answer. So here is one pair, here is one pair, here is one pair. So therefore, what you will write? Three to four square of this number will be from this to pair, take one number. From this to pair, take one number. From this to pair, take one number. And the answer is 18. That means 18 square is three to four. You can reject by a square process or diagonal method, whatever that 18 square is equals to 3 to 4. Clear? You can reject this by using those methods. You can see my videos and do this one. So in this way, we're going to solve few more sums, then it will be clear to you all. So let's do a few more sums. It's 1, 7, 6, 4. It's a big number. So let's start doing the prime factorization. So one, seven, six, four. It is see One more way is there. See, four is there. That means it will go with two, right? So two into eight, eight, two. Two into four, four, one. I think it will go with three. How it will go with three? See, four, four, eight, nine. Divisibility method. So three into one, four, Seven, so 11, 12, yes, it will go with 3 again. So 3 into 49 and 49, 7 with 7. It will go 7 into 7, 7 into 1. See? Here 1, here 1, here 1. If you want to do it directly, from here also you can do. Better you write down the process. Steps are very much important. If you're writing your school exam, so steps are very much important, okay? So this one. Now pair, this is one pair, here is one pair, here is one pair. Therefore, one, seven, six, four. Square root of this is from this pair, one, this pair, one, this pair, one. And your answer is four to 42. That means you can reject this also. 42 square will be one, seven, six, four. This is recheck part. You can recheck and check that your answer is correct or not. Always. Try to get the recheck method, you know. So if you get the recheck method, 
you will know how much you are going to square score. So that that thing you can do it by yourself. It's very easy to know the maths marks when you give the exam, and if you know the recheck method of all the sums, you can get your own marks that time itself. That's it. So one more example. Do you want to see? Let's do one more example. Then it will be more clearer to you all. So this one, final one, four, three, five, six. Find the prime numbers now. So how to find? Two into two, one, seven, eight. Two into one, zero, eight, nine. nine. Then it will go with three. Three into three, six, three. Then again, I think it will go with three, yes. Three into one, two, one. One to one is 11, 11 square, yes, 11 square. And 11 into one. So you got square, yes, this, this. So you write down how I've shown you. Four, three, five, six. This way you write down here the group place two into two into three into three into eleven into eleven, getting the pairs now. So your final answer there are four. Four three five six square is two into three into eleven, and that is two three two into three is six, six into 11 is 66 and that's your answer so you can recheck it that whether 66 square is 4356 or not okay so please go through this full video this is very important and this are generally you will get in a standard 8 7 8 okay so go through this full video and please if you like my video don't forget to give a like and subscribe my channel thank you Ta -da.